Uh, hello, uh, my name is Julius Fisher Ananyua, and my metric number is 171-221-860. Okay, for the title of my final year project is Wheelbarrow Electronics. Okay, for problem statement, uh, usually when we, we carry a lot that is heavy, and moving them from one place to another, you will have a uh, back pain and muscle pain, for sure. Therefore, the solution that I think uh, to make the working environment of our user or the buyer of our product is uh, wheelbarrow electronics. This is because when, we, when they use our product, they will not experience any back pain or any muscle pain. Okay, for introduction, okay, the purpose to innovate the wheelbarrow that already at the market right now is because by adding a new feature, uh, it can help our customer or our buyers to ease and to do their jobs more easier. And, at, and then uh, it also can reduce their time to harvesting the products, which means that they can uh, move from one place to another place more quicker. Okay, for company description. <clears throat> so our company's name is uh, Jealous & Co. The date for registration is 1 September 2020. Okay, for startup capital, uh, we use a model of RM200,000, where 15% is from the owner and 70% is from the bank itself. And based on here, you can see that uh, this is our logo which is uh, GN Core, and our slogan is working becomes easier. So the location for our premises in order for us to do our jobs and to produce our products is located at Jalan Mire Bypass. So over here uh, at the start area is the premises, is the premise of our uh, business of our company. Okay, for company strategy, we use market penetration at first. Why we choose uh, market penetration? Because we want to attract our, cost, our customer first. And then after few years, maybe after three or four years, and uh, we ask, at a stable position in the market, we will use press gaming in order to attract uh, the customer. Okay, for product expansion, um, if our products long last and we keep on receiving uh, demand from our customer, we will uh, introduce uh, wheelbarrow electronic generation two. For customer analysis, uh, we are using three types of customer analysis, which is the first one is geography and segmentation, which is uh, focusing in the rural area. Why we focus at the rural area? Because <clears throat> these people are the one who live and close to the palm oil industrial area. Second one is demographic segmentation. Uh, we're doing the customer analysis based on demographic because it is based on their occupation and also their income. Because our products cost around RM2000 ringgit, so we want to know that uh, based on their incomes and their occupation, we can predict if this customer can not can or not can buy our products or not. For psychographic segmentation, 
we are focusing on their lifestyles and which means that we want to know how many often the customer buy the products which is used to uh, for their palm oil area and also how many how often they buy the equipment needed for them to harvest the palm oil fruits okay for materials requirement because our uh, company uh, are sourcing the products from other manufacturer therefore we will use uh, steel high lifting jack for the feature needed in our wheelbarrow and also uh, engine which is equipped with 24 volt dc which 24 volt power and this is the uh, this is the tires that will be put at our uh, wheelbarrow electronics and this is our uh, machine that is used to test for uh, to know if there's any mistakes or any uh, broken parts at the products and this is our uh, welding machine okay this is the plan for our products so as you can see from the back parts of the um of product this is the stand which make it unique as the users only stand up at the stand stand on the stand and then they only need to uh, throttle the handle and the wheelbarrow will accelerate by itself okay for sochi uh, we are expecting to receive net profit around 399,000 ringgit 712 ringgit whereas in 2021 we are expecting to receive 398,354 ringgit Malaysia whereas in 2020 uh, we will be expecting to receive a net profit of 424,550 ringgit. For project statement of financial position is, uh, as you can see that in year 2020, our current asset is equal to 896,112. For 2021, our, <clears throat> our total asset is equivalent to 1,743 ringgit. Wait, for cash flow, um, the ending cash that we will receive in year 2020 is 894 ringgit, 894,095 ringgit. Whereas in 2021, we will receive uh, ending cash around 1,741,713 ringgit. Whereas on 2022, we will receive around 2,475,000 ringgit. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.